Hi guys, it's Courtney. Welcome back to my channel. I am here today with a flip through setup video of my personal Filofax. This is the original in fluoro pink. So I had mentioned in my last video that I had been doing all of my um, planning in this probably since um, June, yeah, the first part of June. Um, I moved from a pocket size traveler's notebook into this just because, not gonna lie, rings are all of the rage right now, it seems. Um, I knew, and I have an A5 um, Filofax as well. And I've had this for a while. If you've been watching my channel for um, a long time, then you know that I planned in this for a while um, exclusively. Not that long after I started my channel. Um, and then I switched back into... Um, a coil, a spiral bound planner. But anyway, I wanted to give rings a shot. I knew that pocket sized was going to be too small for me. Um, and I love my A5 original, but it's a bit big for me to carry around with me every day. Um, so I broke out this. Um, I've also hopped on the planner charm bag bandwagon and I just made these myself. Um, so I have a lot of the same like systems that I had set up in my pocket size TN because that really seemed to be working for me. Um, except obviously I'm using different inserts now. So um, if you're not familiar with the Filofax, it's not heavy on pockets, which is fine with me. Um, I'm not a huge like pocket decorator, neater of pockets. Um, so I really actually appreciate this like streamlined setup and it's a little chunkier than I had intended it to be, but um, so I just have a piece of um, cardstock popped back here for some color and my um, mild liner in gray, which is my favorite one. Um, and then I have this piece of vellum, which I made myself. Um, I just bought the clip art on Etsy and printed it on a piece of vellum, which is the same thing I did for all of my um, dividers. Like all of these I made myself. I bought the like scallop label um, pattern from the Silhouette store and then just cut them out on my Silhouette and the papers I just... Um, they're just digital papers from Etsy. So um, my first section is my monthly calendar and um, my monthly is still essentially the same as it was in my TN and I use it pretty functionally. I will add um, stickers and washi if I have some that I wanna use and it's pretty like basic and straightforward. Um, this is just a piece of vellum that I laminated and um, I have sticky notes um, here for like a little dashboard in case I need them because this is essentially my brain dump section. Um, and then I have an adhesive pocket stuck on the back in case I have any like receipts or anything that I need to tuck into there. Um, and then I just have scrap paper here with, you know, things that pop into my head. Um, 
note paper that I can just pull in and out if need be. This was also in my pocket size TN and I just took it out and laminated it and I thought it looked really cool kind of floating in here. Um, my next section, the tab says wish list, which is not a hundred percent what it is, but it was the only like label I had that kind of described it. Um, and then on the back, I just have photos of my husband and I and my husband and our little boy. And then this next section, I believe this is supposed to be like a day on a page from Annie Plans Printables, but I had watched a video by Carrie Harling where she had used them essentially like um, a collections journal and that kind of light bulb idea went off for me so I borrowed that idea so I just have the these are the index pages and then you know it starts on those pages so if I want to go here and kind of flip exactly to where I need to be if I'm like in the library and I'm like oh there are some books that I want to try to see for Rowan. I can flip to this page and here's a list of books that I was interested in checking out for him. Um, and then this is another piece of vellum that I made. This is a printable from Beautiful Planning um, with my initial. And then my next section I just marked to do. So you'll notice that I have um, some side tabs, some top tabs. These are like the main sections and I guess these are the sub sections. I don't know. Um, so yeah, this is my to-do section and I just have my monthly habit tracker in here because these are things that I need to get done on a daily basis. Um, and you can see I have it all set up for July. So these are like my daily habits that I would like to get done in an ideal day. And then these are kind of weekly chores that I want to keep track of and make sure that I'm doing. Um, and then, yeah, I just have the rest of the year. I could probably take some of these out and it would make it less chunky. Um, and my next section is my schedule. So these are my week on two page inserts from Peanuts Planner Co. This is a freebie from her Facebook group. Um, and yeah, I've just been, it's just a high level overview of my week. Um, if there are um, specific times that I need to be somewhere, I will pop them in here. Important things that I need to remember. Um, another like daily tracker. I do like having this here in my week and that way if I forget to do this during the day I can always um, go back here and see Ooh, excuse me what I missed and then I just have our meals uh, daily chores here other stuff to do that's not um, like date specific. So what I've been doing for this, which has been super helpful is, um, I've been using just like a spare sheet of paper, which I can't find my one. Oh, duh because I'm not on the right week. So these are, I've been watching lots of video on the G, videos on the GTD method and this isn't like um, the exact way that he lays it out, but it is a way that has been working for me. So like I said, this is kind of my high level overview of the week. Um, places I need to be, times I need to be there, if there's, you know, a specific time. Um, like, I wanted to be at the zoo on Monday at 9 just because members get in 
an hour early um, and I wanted to make sure that we got there early so that there were less people and it also wasn't as hot. Um, and then so these are things that I've either pulled from like project planning sheets um, or my editorial calendar or anything like that or um, from my brain dump list that aren't date specific or time specific but things that I would like to get done in a week and then I am able to kind of look at holes in my schedule and see where I can fit these things in. So, um, and this is for this next week, but I had already taken the one out for the previous week. So, um, I'm trying to think of if there's like a good example here. Um, so I need to drop some paperwork off to Rowan's school and um, there's a bunch of clothes that I need to drop off to Goodwill and I'd like to schedule a play date. These aren't things that are necessarily date specific but I'd like to have them done this week. So I can look at um, my schedule and see like we're going downtown to the art museum on Thursday. On our way to the art museum, we drive past Rowan School. So I can drop off this paperwork probably on Thursday. Um, or we're going to downtown to the park on Monday. I could potentially drop it off on Monday. Um, the way that we go to the park, um, we drive past the Goodwill where I want to drop this stuff off. So I need to um, load this stuff in my car on Sunday so that I can drop it off at Goodwill on Monday. Um, I want to schedule a play date with some girlfriends and their kids. When we're at the park, there's a good chance that I will have some downtime that I can pull out my phone and send a group text message seeing, um, you know, when people are free so we can kind of start to narrow that down. So it's not probably the most efficient thing for some people, but it has been working really well for me. And it's making me feel um, a little bit better about things. Like I don't, I have mentioned plenty of times on this channel that I um, have anxiety and depression. And a lot of times I will feel like I'm not accomplishing enough in my day. But I can look back on all of these things and say, you know what, look at all of these things that I did this week. Um, so I'm not like beating myself up on it too much. Um, so yeah, so these are my weeklies. This is a blank one and you can really use it however you want. So, um, this was a pocket or not a pocket, but it was like a folder thing um, in my traveler's notebook. And I just slid it down the middle and added holes to put it in here. This is a piece of scrapbook paper. And then I just have photos of my family. And this is a, another piece of cardstock. Um, my next section is finance. Uh, and I just have a photo of my husband and I. I do like to, I'm a fairly like minimalist decorator in my um, setups. I do like for them to be pretty and um, 
I always say I need it to be pretty enough for me to want to open it and look at it, but not have so much stuff that I find it overwhelming and avoid it. So I prefer to have just family photos instead of like all of the die cuts and stuff. So I have this bill tracker. I'm not sure where it's from, but I will link all of the shops uh, down below. Um, but I just have a list, well, it goes month by month. So you can write down your bills for the month, um, when they're due, the amount, and then check them off when they're paid. And then I just stuck in this, um, checkbook register so that I can keep track of you know, the money that I've spent during the month. So that appears to be working fairly well. Um, I'm not, I don't like track and record all of our expenses. Um, my husband does that on a spreadsheet, so it's not really anything that I need to keep track of in all of our um, like mortgage and utilities and all of that stuff comes out um, of our it you know it's on auto pay. So um, my next section is my meal planning section, and these are just the basic meal planning inserts with you know the day of the week your shopping list and then I also added pull this out um these are also from peanuts planner co so I just have um like the different things that we like to have on hand for our pantry or freezer I have uh, fruits and veggies and then in our refrigerator um, and then this list for quick meals so you know I'm if I'm planning my week um, and I'm like stumped on what to do I can flip back here and grab some ideas or um, like I usually don't meal plan for every single day and these things aren't they're more so I know what to get. They don't necessarily have to, we don't have to eat them on these days. Um, but so if there's a day in here where I don't really have anything planned, um, but I can flip back to kind of this section and see, oh, you know, we like to eat whatever, spaghetti and check the fridge to make sure that we have what we need and make that so um and then some breakfast and lunch ideas i'm trying to clean up our diets a little bit more i'm not great about um fixing breakfast and lunch for myself i'm good about doing it for our son um but not for me so I need to find some stuff to eat for that because what I, I will do is I will essentially like have coffee for breakfast and then, you know, like grab a slice of cheese and like ham for lunch and then I'm like starving until dinner and then I'll just want to eat anything because I'm so hungry which is why we've been eating out so much, um, which is not the healthiest option for our diets. It's not uh, really that great for our budget either. So, and then um, back here, I just want to keep track of restaurants that we want to try. Um, my husband's really good about finding new places for us to eat. Um, and then this is a piece of vellum. I think that's from Michael's. I don't know. It's really old and I pulled it out of something else. And then the next section is my family section. So I just have a uh, note paper in here so that if there's like questions or concerns or things I want to remember either, um, 
like about my son, like medical stuff or um, things that I want to talk about with my husband.